Hello, Karen Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile. Today I'll be going over what's in our newsletter for July 29th, 2022. All right, let's get started. First thing, we are introducing a new knit along. This one is being hosted by Ellen Thomas of the Chili Dog, and she has created a wonderful pattern for us called Chasing Butterflies. So this here is the Chasing Butterflies um, shawl pattern. I will take it off so you can uh, see the size. Um, it is a absolutely beautiful shawl. Uh, hopefully, if I stand back, maybe you can see more of it because it is, as you can see, a very, very nicely sized shawl. So whether you are the kind of person who wants to wrap it around your shoulders in the evening, or if you are the kind of person who likes to wear it, oops, towards the front, which I'm gonna show you, except I'm getting myself all tangled up. Um, you know, you can actually even wear it almost like a scarf because it is so nice and soft and fluid. Um, even though, you know, it looks like it's big, it, because of its fluidity, um, you can almost wear it like a scarf too. Or you can, let's put it that way. So here you go. This is called the Chasing Butterflies Shawl. Um, it is the cowl that we are um, promoting at this point. And just so you know, it starts September 1st, which I think I might have mentioned, but we will start selling um, kits as of today and we'll start sending them out next week. So you probably wanna know what is in a kit. Did I make it look okay? <laughs> what is in a kit? So what is in your kit is going to be your um, cake of flour, of, <laughs> excuse me, of Zelba flour, lace flour. Good God, this is lace flour. So this is a lace weight yarn. This is a 150 gram cake. And on the 150 gram cake, um, you're gonna have about 1350 meters. So uh, you got quite a bit of yarn on here. And you have one complete repeat of what the yarn does. And I'll show you other color options as well. This color option right here is number 2403. And that is the one that Ellen used in her sample piece. But we actually have kits available in 11 different colors. Before I show you the different colors, let me show you exactly what the kit includes. It includes one of these, um, which is a cake, 150 gram cake of the Zalba flour made by uh, Shuffle Vola. It's not Zalba flour, I take that back. This is lace flour. Sorry, difference in yardage. That's where the difference is. Also, this is 100% merino wool. I should say that, there you go. 100% merino wool, whereas Zalba flour is gonna be usually 75%, 25%. So 75 wool, 25 nylon, so that um, you have that extra strength for socks and so on. But in your kit, you'll get one of these. You are going to get this great project bag. So you have, and hopefully if you look close enough, can you see the lace ball cakes that are inside the wings of the butterfly? So that, that, is, that is our creative team at work. Um, and then on the back, we actually have a bunch of little butterflies that represent some of the colors that you can get. Once more, they do have the yarn in them. So there you have the front, there you have the back, or you could do it whichever way you want. Um, we have a beautiful um, iridescent uh, rainbow zipper that matches the front butterfly on it. And this bag is large enough for you to put in not only your full cake of yarn, but the needle, which is also gonna come in the kit. And this is a Scassell rocket needle and a 40 inch US 4, which is the size you're going to be most likely using. Um, unless you're a super duper tight knitter or something or super, super loose, this needle size should work but it will also fit your entire project. And the way, of course, that we know that is because we can fit the whole cake and then we can actually fit the needle and we can fit the shawl all in this bag. So you've got your great little project bag um, that you can take with you that is for the cowl. It's also a memory of the cowl because it says cowl on it. Um, fun little bag to have and I'm gonna put this back on so you can look at this while we're discussing it. You can see the beautiful pattern work that is on there. Um, so that is what is included in the kit. We've gone through that. Now, color options. Um, I showed you this one. This is another color option right here. So, whoops, uh, this is color number 2350. Um, and then we have color number, it's gonna take a little while to go through these, 2398. 
That's a very natural one that has browns and light grays and a little bit of blue in it. If you're a super, super colorful person, you might like this one here. And this is color number 1505. Um, if you are, you know, the fall tones, the orangey and green and so on, this is color number 2330. That's a beautiful one. This is one that we've all seen quite a bit from Shuffle. Um, this is his color 2170, uh, and it combines that green with the purple and the pink, and um, you know, one of the original Zelda balls was like this as well. So this one is really beautiful jewel tones, um, and this one is called 2365. Um, Pastel to going into brights. I mean, this is sort of like bright pastels. This is color number 2350, oops, 2357. And you can see the full repeats on the flowers, which is really, really nice. So you know exactly what you're gonna get um, in advance. This is 2169, that's for all of you who really like the blues. This could be really great piece to be worn with denim shirts and things like that. Um, uh, if you, especially if you do it with the, this portion in the front and then tie it, um, sort of like a V-neck, a kerchief. So 2359, that is um, also, it's very interesting color, has a little bit of mustard and pink, and then of course the variegation that goes through that. And then here is one more, and this is color number 2179. So that should be 11 colors. Um, if not, all 11 colors can be found on the website. Um, it is all under Chasing Butterflies Knit Along. And like I said, we have these kits um, with the bags available. We only have a certain amount of bags, but um, it will tell you online if we happen to sell out. Um, and in the meantime, please do look, check out the colors. We would love to have you join this knit along. Uh, we have on September 6th, which is, is it? Yeah, September 6th. Oh, gosh, I can't believe I'm talking about September. In September, on September 6th, because the actual knit along starts on September 1st, on September 6th, we'll be having Ellen Thomas join us on our, on our knit night. So if you want to speak with her personally at that point, that would be a really great time to do it. And then of course, she'll be hosting a group that will be on Ravelry. Um, so you can be part of that as well. And then on September 30th, it ends and hopefully you'll have finished your beautiful piece. And if you haven't, you can finish it over the next few months. So there you go. That is our knit along that begins on September 1st. We're selling the kits now for best color choices. Check it out. Remember you get your bag um, and then you get your rocket 40 inch US four needle and, uh, oh, and then you get your cake. There you go, all those things. Plus, of course, yes, you do get the pattern and you will get a printed copy as well as a digital copy copy that will um, be put into your Ravelry library um, if you are a Ravelry member. All right, moving right along. We have a few more things in our newsletter. One is the Addy app. So Addy has come up with an app on your phone. You can get it for both Androids and, oh, Androids and for, um, and for your uh, Apple products. Um, it would be in the App Store. It is called the Addy app, so you shouldn't have a problem finding it, A-D-D-I. And in that app are very, well, there's quite a few different things, but I have to say one of my favorite features is the row counting feature. So most row counting, you need to somehow initiate by clicking a button or writing something down or doing something like that. With the Addy app, it's done verbally. So there are words that you can choose from for increasing and words you can choose from for decreasing. So for instance, you choose the word hedgehog for increasing. They have really odd words, words that you're not normally going to be using in your conversations, um, yet they also have very, very distinct sounds. So hedgehog is one of them. So if you are going to use the word hedgehog for increases, you could actually be having a conversation with somebody. You could have your TV on, you could have your pad podcast on, you could have anything on. And then when you go on to the next row, you could say hedgehog. And uh, so I could be having a conversation like this hedgehog and keep on going. And when I said that hedgehog, 
it would increase it. Now I'd show you how it works, but I actually use my phone to do my uh, videos, so I can't. Um, but there's also one for decreasing. So let's say you use, like, I'm trying to remember the German words, I think there was one that's ananas, which is pineapple. Um, so if you needed to decrease or you tore out a row, you would just say ananas, and then it would do that. So you have increases, decreases, whether you're using it for stitch counts, row counts, whatever you wanna use, and it is all done verbally. And uh, I think that is the coolest part of the app. But check out the app. Um, there's a lot of other wonderful features on it. It is free um, and it is available now. So there you go. I'm trying to think what else is on my list. I think that is on my, that's all for today. I do wanna remind you, however, that next week is the first month of August and um, we already have another knit night coming. So this night we're going to be having Keith Leonard joining us. And Keith Leonard is an extraordinary um, knitwear finisher, extraordinary teacher, and, uh, and a wonderful diest. So I don't know if you call him a dyer or a diest or uh, whatever. Anyways, he's gonna be joining us. And if you have any questions for him, I'm sure he'd be happy to answer them. Um, we can learn a little bit about what he's doing, what he's up to, how he got into this business, how he got into finishing, um, all these different things. So please do join us. That's going to be on um, August 2nd. Yes, August 2nd, which is next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday evening. There you go. It's August, people. It is warm out. I keep looking that way because it is warm and it's hot. All right, that's it. We hope to see you again on Tuesday. In the meantime, you have a long weekend in front of you. Enjoy yourself. As always, find some time to be creative. Choose to be happy. Stay safe. And we'll see you Tuesday. Ciao.